Hey, welcome back to Genotopia. I had several people ask me what are my favorite palettes and what are my least favorite palettes. So I thought long and hard about it. I've been through my palettes and I have about 55 palettes plus a bunch of uh, little uh, three pan palettes and single palettes. And it was really hard to decide on which my top five favorite were because I have so many that I do love. And when you've got that many, which I really don't need that many, but when you've got that many, um, you love them all, or you, 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 there's more than five that you really like. So I thought I would uh, take a, a few minutes to answer these questions and tell you why I like or dislike my top five and my bottom five. But I had to give honorable mention to my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics. This little palette right here is just a great travel palette. Um, I would definitely recommend this palette who, uh, to someone who is just starting out in makeup or someone who uh, needs a travel palette throwing their bag to go, uh, just whatever. It is a great little palette. It has six shades and as you can see I have really got some use out of this palette. This is one I took with me when I went to Canada this summer. I love this palette. It's got a great mirror so you can put your makeup on by it. And um, for $29 I think this is a really good deal. So, um, if you're looking just for a small palette to get started with, I do recommend the Urban Decay Naked Basics too. These are all matte shades. Love this palette. So, number six, honorable, honorable mention, that's it. Okay, now let's get started with my top five favorites. Like I said, this was really, really hard because I've got so many palettes that I really do love. But, my number five favorite palette is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Now you cannot deny that the packaging on this palette is absolutely beautiful. And when you open it up, it smells so good. I know a lot of people complain that there were not enough peach shades in it for them. But it was explained when this palette came out that this is the whole life of a peach. Uh, you've got your white peach, you've got the leaf of the uh, peach, you've got the bruises. Um, there is, it's just the whole life of a peach, so it makes a whole lot of sense. And you can get so many looks out of this palette. If you just stay with those four or, the, or five shades right here, then you have a really, really neutral um, eye. When you come over here and stay with these shades in through, use these shades in here, you have purples and plums, and uh, you have your green right down here. So there are so many different looks that you can get out of this one palette. Now they're not, uh, they're mattes, they're shimmers, there's a few glitters in here, and um, it's just a fabulous palette. Now I do have the Just Peachy palette on my Christmas wish list, and it is a palette of full peachy mattes. But there are also some darker colors in it too, so um, you really do need a lot of different colors for a, you know the transition of your eye look. So I hope people understand that's why that they uh, had this color variety that they had. But... Um, I really do recommend this palette. Smells great, beautiful packaging, and the color payoff is really good with this. So, number five. Okay, number four of my favorite palettes. I had this in my collection a long time before I opened it up, and I don't know what I was waiting on, but this is the Tarte Tardis Pro palette. This palette is beautiful. It has 20 shades, and you've got 16 mattes, and you've got four glitters. Now, these are the Amazonian clay um, formula. You have a really nice mirror right there that you can put your makeup on by. This is great to travel with because it is sturdy packaging. Um, it uh, is just there are pigmented shades. You've got a roll of a, a, a row of neutrals. You have a roll of I can't say a row, not roll. A roll of plums. A row of um, your uh, pinks and burgundyish colors, and you've got another roll of neutrals down here with a good black. So this is just a really good overall palette for a, a variety of shades. So if you're looking for something to spend $53 on to get a variety of shades, I highly recommend the uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, formula. So this is the Tardius Pro palette. Next, I'm in torn between these two, which one's two and which one's three. I kind of think they're a tie because it's really hard to decide which one's two and which one's three. So we're going to say number three is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This palette is 
fabulous. Let me tell you, it has just everything you need for really good basic eyes. You have three quads set up. You have your neutrals, your cools, and your warms. And you can get so many good eye looks. This shade right here, Lazarus, is one of my favorite shades of all time. Sometimes I'll just put that all over my eye and that's my, my look because it is fast, easy, and you get a pretty look. And uh, this palette is just beautiful. I love it. I would definitely repurchase that palette. Kat Von D, Shade and Light. Can't go wrong. And that is 50, no, this is um, $48. Kat Von D. Okay, number two favorite palette. And you're not going to be surprised. Or maybe you'll be surprised that it's not number one. But anyway, number two is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. This palette is everything. I was late to the game getting this palette because I thought I really don't want red eyeshadows and those bright pinks and stuff. But when you open the palette, if you look at it, if you just kind of cover that part of the palette up, you really have a really neutral palette. And then these are just bonus colors. The colors in this are so highly pigmented, and there's 14 shades. They're, they blend beautifully. It's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. I can't say enough about it. I love this palette. I will repurchase it. It is um, $42, and they're all warm tones, so uh, this is right up my alley. I love this palette, and honest, Anastasia knocked it out of the park with this one. Too bad Subculture wasn't this good. And my number one palette, I love this palette. My mother had got me this palette. It is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. It is cruelty free, and you get uh, Lux uh, Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. You get all these beautiful 14 shades of anti-aging, silk infused eyeshadows. They're all matte, and you get this pearlized shade right down here which you can wear alone or you wear it over any of the other shades and it gives it a pearlized look so it actually doubles the shades that you get in this palette. Um, you have a lot of neutrals right here. You have your orangey shades. You have some plum shades. You have browns. You have a black. You have a navy. It's just a wide variety of shades. Now they're not strong in your face colors. These are really nice washes of color. They blend really well and if you're new to putting on makeup or um, you don't like strong, strong colors on your eye, this palette right here would be for you. It's not for somebody who likes really strong, highly pigmented colors. It's just for somebody who likes just a easy to blend uh, eyeshadow palette. Anytime I know that I'm in a hurry and I want just a really pretty eye look, I go to this palette because I know I'm gonna get a good eye look fast and um, I love this palette. I've already hit pan on Sheer Joy, just about hit pan on Soft Light, just about hit pan on Love. I'm going to hit pan on Violet soon. I love this palette. I will repurchase this. So if you're looking for a really good palette, this is $42. I think uh, this one came from um, QVC. Modern Renaissance can be got at Sephora and um, Ulta. Uh, Shade and Light. Came from Sephora. Tardis Pro came from Sephora. And a Too Faced, I got that from HSN, but I do know also that um, they carry this at Ulta. So that's where you can get my top five favorite palettes. Now, oh, and Naked to Basics too, I got this one at Ulta. The bottom five. Okay, you know, I recently had a declutter. So I got rid of a whole lot, but when it came to figuring out my bottom five, there was a couple that right off the bat, I knew they were in my bottom five. The others I had to think about just a little bit harder, but not too hard. Okay, number five. I've really tried to like this brand. This is the only product I have tried from this company, so maybe I just got the one thing that didn't work for me and I do need to try more more from this product but it is this Smashbox matte palette the packaging on this is absolutely beautiful and that's probably what sold me on this this is $29 and I did get this at Ulta it has got two quads inside and I have used it several several times I just cannot fall in love with this palette I mean I've got a couple pretty good dips in these two right here 
but I just can't fall in love with it. Um, I'm not satisfied with the eye looks that I get out of it. I'm just not crazy about the formula. I'm sorry, Smashbox. I really want to love you, but I'm just not in love with this one. So, that's number five. <sighs> number four of my least favorite. You know how I love Too Faced, but this was not a winner for me. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette. It's adorable looking. Look at that packaging. So, so cute. Just absolutely adorable. And when you open it up, you get that wonderful chocolate smell. But the colors are just, I don't know, just, it's chalky. Um, I just didn't like this palette. I tried to like it too, and I'm just not inspired when I open it up. It's not like the same formula as in the big chocolate bars. Or the big chocolate palettes. Just save your money. Don't spend the $29 on this. Save up and get you the $49 palette. I think you'd be much happier. Okay, number three. And I guess it's a good thing. Well, not a good thing they're going out of business. But um, I just won't be buying any more of these shadows. But this is from Beauty Control. This is the Uptown Girl. And I had also bought a purple that I give to my mother. Which is really pretty. The Uptown Girl, two of the shades are, are okay in it, but one of them, this shade in the middle, has no color payoff at all. It's got a cute little tiny mirror right there. I would rather it had a whole mirror right there if I'm putting on my eyeshadow. But um, the two on the end, I'll just drop a little brush, have decent color payoff. But that one in the center, let me get the clean finger here. It's chalky and very little color payoff, and when you blend it, it blends away. So, um, I'm very disappointed. Let me get rid of that little brush. Very disappointed. It comes with a little brush sponge applicator, which I should have just tossed it, but I didn't. Um, just not happy with it. I thought that would be good to throw in my purse. I think it's better to throw in the trash. Just not happy with that. $15 and $5 per pan. And, I could have bought um, ColourPop or something I'd like a whole lot better. Okay, number two. I know some people like this brand. This palette just wasn't a good one for me. Uh, the packaging broke. This is W7 in the night. The packaging broke within the first day or so. This one pan completely fell out of it. I mean, the pan completely fell out of it and busted. It's a... Uh, kind of inexpensive on the inside. It's just cheaply made. But the color payoff is not good in this palette. Um, I bought it basically for the purple shades, and the purple shades aren't giving me any color payoff. So I'm um, very highly disappointed in this palette. Uh, it's got grays and blacks down here, and you know, how many blacks do I really need? And it's not even that black. It's more gray than it is black. So um, just that's what makes it number two. Bad packaging, poor color payoff. And my number one least favorite palette was so easy to figure out. It was the Golden Nudes by Style Essentials. Yes, I only paid $5 for it, but I might as well have thrown the $5 out my car window and let somebody get found it and benefited from the $5 because... You don't benefit from this. The only shade in here that really is pretty is this gold shade. I think that's it. But it's still chalky. I don't even think that one's it. Let me look again. Ah, maybe that one's it. No, that one's so dry. I mean, that is dry, 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 dry. Maybe there isn't any good shades in here. That one has no color payoff at all. Maybe that one. No, no color payoff. Wasted my five dollars. Should have thrown it out my car window and let somebody found it and gone got my happy meal. But anyway, that is my least favorite five: Golden uh, Nudes, W7 in the Night, Beauty Control, Uptown Girl, Too Faced Chocolate Chip, and Smashbox Nats. <sighs> I hate to be negative, but you all asked, so I was going to tell you the truth about it. 
Remember, if you like my videos, please click like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Be sure to click the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And um, I'm trying to wash, wipe that off. It didn't take long to wipe that black off. No color payoff. Anyway, be sure to click um, the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And um, share the love, not the hate, because there's so much hatred in this world. And I know I say it every time, but just share the love because you never know what, who's having a bad day and needs a smile or needs a kind word. So until the next video, remember I love you. Let's get up and turn off my camera because you know the routine.